Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Night Shooters, and this is a action thriller from Mark Price, and focuses on a film crew who sees some gangland violence, and they need to escape and get the hell out of there, so, you know, they go full-blown, like, home alone with booby traps and martial arts expert who's their stunt coordinator, and try to fight their way out of this. And this is a big, silly silly fun time and honestly that's exactly what it feels like Night Shooters is trying to be and knows what it is and really goes for it and it works to be perfectly honest like I'm not gonna say this is a great film nor am I gonna say this is a really good film this is a fun silly genre flick and when it's self-aware enough to realize all it needs to do is beat up some people with some nice martial arts from Jean-Paul Lai and some, like, really hammy performance from, like, this big mobster villain by Richard Sandling. It's, and a whole bunch of, like, crazy gadgets and stuff like that. And violence and people dying and shooting things up. You know, if you know that's what you're going for and you deliver on that, it works. And Price, the director, is able to use, like, a small budget and make the most out of this setup, which it's like it's a whole bunch of a film crew, and the movie starts off with the film within a film, which is interesting because it puts you on your toes a bit, it's like the zombie kind of movie, and doing all kinds of stuff, and you're just like, wait, is this a zombie movie? And then obviously like it cuts out and they're just filming, and you realize like, oh, okay, never mind. Um, but the thing is, it sets the tone though at least, Fun intro sets the tone that there's going to be a lot of crazy violence and action going on in this film, and it sure does set that up, and it sure does deliver on that. You get a lot of, like, those martial arts things, like I mentioned, from Lai's character, Donnie, and really it's just like it uses an excuse that, like, their special effects guy, like, sets up all these lethal traps, and, you know, their stuntman, Lai, is like a martial arts guru and like those things pretty much make sense right and make perfect sense within the f this film and this crazy over-the-top violent world that this film inhabits as they capture on camera like all these gun um, gang violence and then obviously they can't be left alive right so then we go to blows and violence ensues and Price just uses a some solid pacing and some solid filmmaking to make the most out of this action and the action's fun it's enjoyable it takes you on a quick zippy kind of thrill ride and you know I didn't care so much like care about so much the characters there wasn't a whole lot of them with a ton of depth but you know the performances are solid they all meet expectations, you know, and you have these characters who have their roles here, and some of them are set up as cannon fodder, and other ones are set up to dispose of some uh, gang member cannon fodder. So, you know, you have fun with that, and I had fun with it. So, if that's enough for you, you should probably check out Night Shooters. If you want more than that, then there's other action films that deliver on a deeper level than this, but, you know, this is a fun thrill ride, and I think it was worth the watch. So check out Night Shooters. But those are my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.